if you look at if you look at the disciplines in many pe in some people's opinion, math is the highest discipline. If there's any mathematicians here, I, you're the you are absolutely the smartest people in the room. <laughs> God bless you. You're, everything is based on what you know and what you do, and you're geniuses. Then it goes to physics, and then it goes to something, and then, it, then when you get to the very bottom, it's business. <laughs> Everybody, I went to Imperial College, telling my friend Roger, I went to Imperial College. If you go to Imperial College of Science, Technology, and Humanities, they say, I, I'm doing a PhD in a business school. I said, is, is that part of what we do? <laughs> they let people like you here? Yeah. So, now, when you get to business, then you get to business and you say, okay, finance. Finance is the top of business. Now, we're at the bottom of the pyramid, so, <laughs> but you're at the top of business. You're the, you're, you're the really, really smart people. Then the strategy people, then maybe the marketing people, and then the OB people, and then the entrepreneurship people are at the bottom of that pyramid. That's what I got my PhD in. <laughs> so in the intellectual pyramid, I can't get any lower or any deeper. And then they say to me, okay, you have to do a dissertation on a subject, on a subject matter, you have to create new knowledge. So in this tiny little niche that nobody really cares about, you go deeper. And we create this whole series of hyper-specialists. And you, you know so much about so little. And then they unleash you on the students. Does that make sense anymore? Now, I, I got to tell you, I wrote that dissertation, I was the happiest man in the world. One, because I'd never have to do it again. And, and two, because I got a job doing it. And then I started thinking about the expansive nature of the need and how we are moving from this hyper-specialist into a neo-generalist. So I can take that knowledge I have, and it was valuable, and I do understand something important, I think. And I think I do deserve that terminal degree, and I have some contribution to make. That, but it is, it is not optimized unless we're talking, and I respect his discipline, and I understand his decision-making frameworks. And if we can have that conversation, and if we can bring you into that conversation, we can solve problems that are amazing. I have to have that specific knowledge, and I have to have the arms open to accept others. That's the, the neo-generalist. What does that mean for how we create colleges and curriculum and teach people and do graduate work and support thesis and research? What does that mean? If we're not thinking that, we're late to the game.